Welcome to Onbill TV. This is Yankar Kekrezanya Solo. You're now watching Prime Time. First, the headlines. The number of BJP candidates who are winning the Assembly seats in Arunachal Pradesh continues to grow. On Saturday, Chief Minister Pema Khandu addressed a press conference and announced that the number has increased to 10. Six candidates are set to contest from the Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Gangster turned politician Mukhtar Ansari's mortal remains are laid to rest on Saturday morning. Mukhtar Ansari, a murder convict, died in hospital in Banda. Following Delhi Chief Minister and Aam Admi Party Supremo Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, the party and its allies of the INDIA bloc will hold a Maha rally in the national capital at Ram Lila, Maidan, tomorrow, March 31st. Those were the top headlines and now for the news in details. The number of BJP candidates who are winning the assembly seats in Arunachal Pradesh continues to grow. On Saturday, Chief Minister Pema Khandu addressed a press conference and announced that the number has increased to 10. They include the Chief Ministers Pema Khandu from Mukto, GK Taku from Tali, Muchu Miti from Roying, Niato Dukam from Taliha, Techi Kaso from Itanagar, Techi Ratu from Sangali, Hage Appa from Zero, Choma Main from Chokam, Dongru Siongju from Bomdila and Dasanglu Pool from Haoliang. Today, for all of the people of Arunachal Pradesh, this is a very good news. In this case, the people of Arunachal Pradesh have been in the past 10 years of the party. दस सीटों में अन्य कर्सों को पता है कि 19 अप्रैल में वोटिंग किया जाएगा और जिस प्रकार से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने यहां पे इस राज्य में जो काम किया है तो इस बार हम सबको पता है कि सारा पब्लिक भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सरकार का परफॉर्मेंस को लेके सभी लोग बहुत ही सेटिस्फाइड हैं तो आने वाला दिनों में ये पूरा कंफर्म हो चुका है कि चुनाव में हम लोग 100 बाय 100 परसेंट मार्च लेते हुए दोबारा फिर भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सरकार अपना अरुणाचल प्रदेश में गठन करेंगे तो साथ ही साथ में माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी और हमारा भारतीय जनता पार्टी के नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट श्री जेपी नड्डा जी को भी मैं धन्यवाद देता हूं उन सभी का देख रेख में आज अरुणाचल प्रदेश का प्रगति काफी अच्छा हुआ है और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के लिए जो प्यार अरुणाचल प्रदेश की जनता ने जो अभी दे रहा है इससे साफ जाहिर भी है कि हमारा दो लोकसभा सीट ईस्टर्न पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी और वेस्टर्न पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी में भी विद थम्पिंग मेजोरिटी के साथ में पूरे एकदम फुल मेजोरिटी के साथ में दोनों सांसद हम लोग भारतीय जनता पार्टी से लोकसभा में भी हम लोग भेजेंगे तो आज हमारे साथ अपना इंचार्ज श्री अशोक सिंगल भी यहाँ पे आए हुए हैं और साथ में अपना जो दो अनकंटेस्टेड एम एल श्री तेजी कसो जी और अपना श्री नातो दुकुम जी वो भी इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में शामिल है तो मैं आगे का कार्रवाई जो है अपना मनकन पत्र या तो दिया नहीं या दिया तो उन्होंने विड्रोल के पहले ही उसको लास्ट डेट ऑफ विड्रोल के समय के पहले विड्रो कर लिया दस लोग निर्विरोध चुने गए और ये दस लोगों की जीत और आने वाले चुनाव में साठ में से हमको लगता है कि साठ की साठ सीटें हम जीत करके एक इतिहास रचने वाले है अरुणाचल में ये जीत माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी का जो प्यार जो स्नेह उत्तर पूर्वांचल को नॉर्थ ईस्ट को मिलता है अरुणाचल को मिलता है आसाम को मिलता है बाकी प्रदेशों को मिलता है उसकी वजह से जनता बहुत खुश है जनता को लगता है कि प्रधानमंत्री हमारा प्रधानमंत्री है और इस वजह से अरुणाचल की जनता ने दस जगह अन हमारे लोग जीत के आए हैं ये इसका परिणाम है और आने वाले चुनाव में हम बहुत अच्छा प्रदर्शन करने वाले हैं मोदी जी ने जो काम किया पिछले दस साल में और हमारी आठ साल की सरकार ने जो काम किया इस डबल इंजन सरकार की वजह से 
एक बदलाव अरुणाचल हम देख रहे हैं After the completion of the filing of nomination papers for the forthcoming Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency election, the nomination papers were taken up for scrutiny by the returning officer at Lampel Pat, informed RO Tokchom Kiran at his office on Saturday. The scrutiny session that commenced at 11 a.m. on Friday at the office of the RO was chaired by the Kiran Kumar, returning officer, number one in a Manipur Parliamentary constituency. Kiran Kumar informed that candidates, election agents, proposers, general observer, and officials of the Imphal West DEO were present during the scrutiny. Thereafter, altogether, six candidates were cleared, and Rajkumar Sumendro Singh, Kaiku. who filed his nomination papers from Manipur People Party to get was accepted as an independent candidate after scrutiny Moirang Tem Totom Shana Nongshaba who filed his nomination papers from Rashtriya Janhit Sangharsh Party RSJ RJSP was also accepted as an independent candidate post scrutiny Maheshwar Tunaujam who filed nomination Republican Party of India Athawale was accepted Tunajam Basanta Kumar Singh who filed a nomination from Bhartiya Janata Party was also accepted. Dr Akom Chha Bimol Akoyjam who filed a nomination from the Indian National Congress was also accepted and Haurung Bam Sarat Singh was also accepted as an independent candidate. The candidate of Ngasepam Nilankanta Singh who filed his nomination from Universal Family Party has however been rejected after scrutiny. Thok Chom Kiran Kumar also gave a briefing about the special preparations for internally displaced people. Today, the 30th of uh, March, 2024, at 3 p.m. withdrawal. Uh, we have the last hour for withdrawal. So far, there was no withdrawal, so we have finalized along with all the members present by 3 o'clock. As there was no withdrawal, there are six candidates who were validly nominated. Symbols were allotted accordingly to these candidates. We have the list of candidates are from INC. We have got uh, Mr. Angomsa Bimol Bimolakoycham. We have uh, a candidate from BJP, Sri Thanaujam Basanta Kumar Singh. Serial number two. Serial number three. We have Mayeshwar Thanaujam from RPI Athawale. Serial number four would be Moirang Tem. As a written officer for this first inner parliamentary constituency, what are the major steps you are going to take at number from the next day? We have been preparing for election not uh, immediately from now, but for the last uh, one and a half months. Inner Manipur parliamentary constituency is constituted by 32 ACs. Imphal West has got 13 ACs. Imphal East has got. Uh, Another ten ACs. Bishnupur has got six, and another three ACs of Thobal. So this four taken together constitutes the in the relief camps of uh, Imphal West. Likewise, in other districts, there are uh, displaced uh, internally displaced persons. Now, this out of these numbers, the eligible voters, they uh, will be given opportunity to cast their vote either in their original polling station or, if not feasible, in the areas where. they are residing at the moment in the relief camps so uh, these are called special uh, polling stations so in far west out of uh, this 6000 over 3000 people are uh, electorate means who can vote up up by 10 years so out of which uh, some will be voting in far west itself so we have got another two segments of people who would be voting for the inner and another category who would be voting for outer who came from surjampur kampo p sugunu all these areas are included in uh, outer constituency so this uh, around 1400 500 number of people uh, the they will be allowed to be casting their vote in specialized uh, polling stations we call special polling stations we have got eight numbers in six locations so Uh, electoral rolls are being under uh, prepared we will complete the process on 9th so by around 11 or 12 we will finalize the electoral roll for this category of people similar will be for other areas other districts also
There was under scrutiny results from IMFA. Now we'll take a short break. Sir, the dal mein azimant se to RCF strong ban gaya. RCF? Roof, column, foundation. Ye to strong ban gaya. Aur batai ye aur kya chahiye? Chhat pe ek bada sa party hall hona chahiye. Hona hi chahiye, chahiye. Hona hi chahiye. Itne sab... Wow! Kevindra lassi. Mitha bhi? 